Damn. Hey guys, so right now um, there's a friggin' blizzard outside. That's why I'm wearing this stupid headband. <laughs> I like it. I think it's really cute. It's got like little little beads all over it and stuff. So yeah, just bear with me. If I look like an idiot, don't tell me in the comments. So today I'm going to be doing my 2013 favorite beauty products for my face and my eyes. So basically like eyeshadow, eyeliner, mascara, um... Stuff that I've been loving for my eyes and my face, like bronzer, blush, stuff like that. So it might be kind of a long video, but I will do the first half eye products, the second half face products, just so you know. And I will leave a little annotation if you want to skip the eye products. You can go straight to the face products. So if you guys want to see my favorite beauty products of 2013, then just keep on watching. So first off, I love mascara. Um, a lot of girls dig mascara. I am one of those girls, and I have two. And the thing that I look for in a mascara would be that I can use a mascara on its own without using another mascara to, you know volumize or lengthen or do something that this mascara is not doing. Um, I look for mascaras that can stand by themselves and I can use a couple coats and I'll be good to go. I don't have to add another mascara to make it look better. So I found two this year that I really love um, and the one that I've been using a lot is the Lash Out Butterfly Mascara. This is by L'Oreal. This is an awesome mascara. I didn't expect it to be as good as it was for me and it's just amazing if you guys haven't tried it I highly recommend it um, and then another one that I love is the CoverGirl Lash Perfection Mascara this has a lot of hype here on YouTube but it's definitely worth the hype I'm like out of breath already that's sad the only thing about this mascara that I really don't care for is that I seem to use it up very quickly but I love the brush on this it's an amazing brush separates lengthens volumes it's all three in one and I absolutely love this mascara I just wish it would last longer <laughs> but yeah I can always go out and buy another one no problem so those are my two favorite mascaras next I have an eyeliner it is the wet n wild mega liner I tried the h2o waterproof one and I hated it because weirdly enough it had a different brush than this one. This one has like the uh, the paintbrush type deal um, and it's just super black and it just it's really good for doing a winged eyeliner. I absolutely adore this um, but I hate the waterproof so I don't recommend the waterproof. It has a felt tip brush which is weird because why wouldn't it have the same brush? I don't know. And then for my eyebrows I just started filling them in like a year ago. I haven't found anything from the drugstore that I really loved uh, until I came across the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Kit and it just comes with a little brush that I actually use um, and then and then it comes with a wax and two eyeshadows or two brow shadows. It's a light one and a dark brown and I absolutely just love this. It's super convenient. It's great for like traveling. It comes with tweezers as well but I lost them. I didn't use them. If you want a cheap alternative to all those Anastasia brow products and you don't really need the high-end stuff then check this out otherwise I've never tried this stuff it sounds like amazing but I've never tried it because I really just don't care next I have a nude eye pencil this is great for brightening up your eyes you put it on the waterline and it just makes your eyes pop I love it so much more than the um, the white eye pencil uh, and this is the wonder pencil by NYX you can also use this to like fix lines um, if you have a dark lip on and you kind of went outside the lines of your lips you can use this as a reverse lip liner so I love the wonder pencil by NYX only a couple more uh, products for the eyes. I wanted to show you my favorite eyeshadows, and I surprisingly don't have any high-end ones. Um, I love my Naked palette, but I wanted to switch it up and show you guys something different that I've been loving this year. L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadows. These are so pretty. They're so pigmented. It's crazy. Like, I love... This is Amber Rush, and look at that. That is amazing. It's just like a rose gold, perfect color. Ugh. I did a tutorial on this, uh, the shimmery doe eye tutorial. Such a pretty color. And then I just did one with the plum infallible shadow because they're just so pigmented. It almost reminds me of like MAC pigments, uh, pressed pigments. They're just so pigmented and I couldn't believe like getting such a good deal from the drugstore. It's crazy. And then there's this one. It's like a baby blue metallic silver color. Um, and this one's called Liquid Diamonds, and they're just gorgeous colors, like, 
you guys need to try them. They're so pigmented and they're, ugh, they're just so pretty. I think they're like around $10 at the drugstore. And also for my bargain beauties, um, these Wet n Wild palettes are to die for. I did a tutorial actually on both of these because they're so pigmented and gorgeous. They're $3.99 a piece and they're so pretty. Like I have to, I gotta swatch them for you. There's a lot of dupes for the Naked palette in here as well. But let me just, that's what it looks like on my fingers. And on my hand. They're just so pretty. They're so pigmented. Oh, I can't say enough good things about Wet n Wild eyeshadows. They're buttery. They're smooth. They're almost dupes for Urban Decay eyeshadows. They're just, they last all day. They're amazing. So if you want to experiment with like different colors and stuff, I highly recommend going to the drugstore, getting your hands on some Wet n Wild eyeshadows. Try them out. You will not regret it. So that is actually it for my eye, eye products, I guess you would say, your eye products of 2013. Um, and now I'm going to move on to my face products. I love face products, I don't know why, but I just absolutely love them, so let me switch over to that. Okay, so I wanted to talk about my favorite foundation. Um, I love, love, love the Revlon Whipped Foundation. Mine is in 370 Natural Tan. Um, that is what I'm wearing right now. I don't think I'm very tan, but hey, I mean, the stuff is my skin tone, so I love it. Also, this lasts all day. I know a lot of people love the CoverGirl 3-in-1 foundation. I got the wrong shade for my skin, so I didn't really like that one just because I've never had the, the same shade as my skin to try out. I'm sure I would love it, but for now, this has been my favorite, like, holy grail foundation. It covers up blemishes, it smooths up my skin, lasts all day, and I just love it. It doesn't break me out or anything. Highly recommend this if you've never tried it. It's a great foundation, and it lasts a long time. Then my favorite concealer is actually the Erase Paste by Benefit. I got this little sample, it was $10, and I still have a ton of it, and I've been using it for a while now. It says, Brightening Camouflage for Eyes and Face, and it just brightens up your face, and at the same time, it hides your blemishes. It's just so awesome. I love this concealer. It does not crease. It looks great. Definitely covers up any redness, so this stuff is awesome. I highly recommend it. I think the full one is like 30 bucks, but if you get the little one, I mean, it'll last you a while and you can try it out, but it's at that little kiosk when you're checking out of Ulta. You can get it there, but you guys should definitely try it. My favorite powder from the drugstore would have to be the BB um, powder from Physician's Formula. It is just a great powder. It just covers up any blemishes. Like, if you put on foundation and you still see some redness, you put this on, the redness is going to be gone. It almost acts as a foundation powder. Um, you could wear it by itself. If you want light coverage, if you want, he like, full coverage, you can wear a foundation and this powder. It definitely doesn't look cakey. Um, I just love the look of this. It helps smooth out my skin, so there's not too much more I can say about this, but this is my favorite drugstore powder. Uh, or powder of 2013. Then my favorite bronzers. I have a drugstore and a high-end bronzer. My favorite drugstore bronzer would be the NYX bronzer. It's a matte bronzer and it is in medium. I do not like the light one. The light one makes you look orange. This one, on the other hand, is like the perfect brown color. I'm wearing it today. Amazing color. Great for contouring. Doesn't look muddy. It doesn't look orange, and it's just the perfect, like, chocolate shade, and I love this. Again, the NYX Matte Bronzer in Medium. Love this. Love the packaging, too. It's super cute. Also, my Hoola Bronzer. You guys have heard tons about this, I'm sure, from everyone else. I have hit pan, and it's so depressing because I friggin' love this bronzer. Uh, great for contouring. It's $30. It's by Benefit, and it is amazing. It's definitely worth the hype. It's like the perfect bronzer. Like if you want to cake on the bronzer and look tan and you're pale, you probably will be able to accomplish that with this bronzer because it's just so awesome. Favorite highlight. I don't normally do a highlight, but this year I started doing it. You can see on my face right now I have a highlight. It is the Mary Luminizer by The Bomb. It is amazing. It is like the perfect shimmery color. I don't know. Look at that. Just look shimmering in the light. I just love this to put on top of my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, and on my cupid's bow. Um, it's great for highlighting. If you like to highlight, you look like a little angel when you wear something like this. Two more things. I have a favorite blush. This is my blush palette from BH Cosmetics. Comes with 10 blushes, and I think I got this for like 12 bucks, which is awesome. Like, who wouldn't want this? 
They're all really pigmented. They're amazing. I'm wearing um, this color. I'm wearing this color today. I don't know if it's going to pick up on camera because my lighting, but this is just so amazing. I didn't expect it to be pigmented, as pigmented as it is, but I love it. It's so awesome. Favorite blushes are definitely in here. I love the Wet n Wild ones too, but these are my favorite. And lastly, a setting spray. The NYX Dewy Finish setting spray. You just spray this on your face after you're done with your powder and your foundation and your concealer. And you just spray it on and it will like make your face dewy. Not oily looking, but not like matte and cakey. You know how your makeup can kind of look cakey and you can kind of see it? If you spray this on, it just looks more natural. Makes you look like you don't have a ton of makeup on because it will like make your makeup dewy. So basically that's what it says. It's just, it's great. It's from the drugstore. It's like six bucks or something and it's awesome. I got it at Ulta. Definitely try it out. It didn't make me break out or anything so I love that. I hope you guys liked my uh, 2013 beauty favorites and if you wanted me to do any other categories like hair products, um, skincare products, Stuff like that, I would do a video on that. I already did like a lipstick favorite video. I did it a couple videos back. Um, my 10 favorite drugstore lipsticks. So if you want to see that, check that video out. Um, otherwise, let me know if you want me to do another uh, beauty favorites of 2013. Um, okay, I'm like running out of breath because my battery's about to die. Hope you guys like this video and thank you so much for watching. Uh, and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. It's Must Love Shoes, same as my username. So. Thank you, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.